Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck with my buddy, Andre Smirnoff. And behind me, the 2017 Ford F-250. What are we towing? We're towing 12,500 pounds with this big power stroke diesel and we're maxing the truck out. That's right, you guys wanted us to do it, so we're doing it, we're gonna take it up the Ike and that's coming up next. This is a beast of an engine. It's actually the same exact power plant that's in the F-350. This one puts out 440 horsepower, and check this out, 925 pound-feet of torque. That's just insane. I mean, what's next, a thousand? <laughs> it's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle, but it has manually locking front hubs. This F-250 has an FX4 package, which makes it really comfortable going down the highway. And we're using our new hitch from Gen Y, the torsion hitch, which has an absorption factor to help stabilize the truck and trailer even more. And this F-250 is a beast at towing. It's a very quiet and comfortable truck, but there's a small issue. And let me show you, it's how the chains attach to the hitch. We've been using this trailer with dozens of trucks, and we've never had this issue where our hooks on our CM trailer don't quite fit very well into this gusseted hole. So you really have to play with it. And even then so, you do need a bigger hook to attach your uh, breakaway cable and your trailer chains. You might be wondering why are we towing 12,500 pounds when this truck is rated to up to 15,000? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, 12,500 is the maximum we can put in this particular trailer, cargo made from CM trailers. And we're actually maxed out on the GVW, gross vehicle weight, on this F-250. We're at 9,900 pounds GVW. This truck is rated at 10,000. We're gonna do the same procedure on the way down, 50 miles an hour out of the tunnel, and we're using automatic engine brake mode on the exhaust brake, which means the truck remembers the speed at which you let off the throttle on the way down. Oh, I can feel it, it just downshifted. So whenever we get to 60, if we just get to it 60, again. it downshifted yeah, for you. Yeah, I haven't touched it, I haven't touched the brake. Okay, so it's using its brain, the truck is thinking on the way down, Right. which is what we want, we wanna test the truck's technology. So, so far I touched the brake once, okay. and we're now at about 52 miles per hour. But yeah, it's, this is a really tough hill on brakes. Well, potentially, I, I touched the brakes once. I, yes. I'm loving this. Well, right now, the brakes are saying, you know, ah. well, what's the big deal? Yeah, they're getting nice and cool. There's absolutely no friction on them, and they're getting cool air, meaning that by the time I get to the bottom of this hill, if I was on an excessive speed, I could easily slow down. But in this case, at 52 miles per hour going down this hill without touching anything. It's freaking awesome. And we're basically at the end of the downhill. Mm -hmm. One brake application. I'm still traveling at around 52 miles per hour. There's been very little change. Gears remain the same. It's been, it dropped down to third gear and it sort of sat there. All right, well, let's go up the mountain and see um, how the engine performs on the way up. One time. Wow, that's, that's a record. You like this color? This is what Ford calls white gold. I want to call it Von Leibowitz. It has a two-tone color to it as well, and the reason why is because it's a King Ranch version. Now, the overall styling, Roman called it butch. I hate using that term, but it is very macho. I love the front end, I love the grill. I actually like it better than the new F-150. I think that that's a much more solid grill and I feel the F-150 is sort of watered down. And finally, there's a lot of chrome in this vehicle. Not a big fan of chrome, but if you like chrome, perfect truck for you. All right, I started the timer. You reset the uh, trip meter? Yep. Nice. Okay, so we're on our way up the Ike Gauntlet and 
the Icon Hill is an eight mile stretch of I-70 from Dillon, Colorado, all the way up to Eisenhower Johnson's tunnels at the Continental Divide. We're going to about 11,158 feet of elevation, which is crazy. About 32% less air density up there. By the way, we have a turbocharger on this diesel, and this diesel doesn't care. Yeah, it really doesn't. What I'm really curious about is the fuel economy. Well, so far we're at five miles per gallon. We're using the same scoring system in 2017 for the Eye Gauntlet as we did in previous years, and this is how it breaks down. On the downhill portion, the maximum points a truck can get is 25. Every time we touch the brakes to bring the truck down to below speed limit, minus one point. On the way up the mountain, eight minutes is our benchmark. Every five seconds over that, a truck loses a point. You cannot get bonus points for going faster than eight minutes. On the uphill, six MPG is our benchmark. Every point two MPG below that, a truck loses a point. But a truck can gain points for going over 6 MPG. Finally, subjective part. Every reviewer gets 25 points maximum to allocate to every truck. We average those scores together, add them up, and get the final value for the truck. And this F-250 Crew Cab 4x4 basically is the most popular heavy-duty truck configuration out there. You got four full-side doors, you got four-wheel drive, and you got a diesel motor. Yep. And that's what most heavy-duty customers actually purchase. But this is an FX4 King Ranch, and it's kind of pricey. I mean, yeah. Final MSRP on this truck is $76,275 exactly. What's the base price? Base price is $57,400. So we have almost $18,000 of options. And the big part of it, of course, is the diesel. The Power Stroke costs $85,95. So that's already $8,600. Right. But we have a lot of other packages. We have an optional 355 rear end. We have a chrome package. And I'm not a big fan of chrome. Uh, we have an FX4 package, which is a great deal at $295. And that gives us Rancher shocks, which kind of smooths out the ride. And the ride is beautiful. The ride it? is really good on this truck. This is one of the best in terms of balancing between heavy capacity and good ride. Couple things you should know. First of all, this truck, which runs around seventy-six thousand dollars, is the King Ranch version. I've mentioned that before, and the reason I mention it again is because the leather, which is really, really comfy leather, is known as Java. That's the color of it. There are a couple issues. I want to hit those first. First of all, the interior has some fitment issues. There's a couple spots where there's some gaps that are uneven. Now, if I'm spending over $75,000 on a vehicle. I want everything to fit perfectly. There's also some hard plastics like where the switch gear is. Now you might say I'm nitpicking, but once again, really high price for this truck. Fortunately, the switch gear works great. All the locations are fantastic. You have a bevy of switches above your head, which you can use for anything you want. You can hook up missiles, you can hook up bombs and smoke screen, and of course, lights. And finally, the overall layout of the interior, well, it's the same as the Ford F-150 in terms of size because the cab is the same size, which trips me out. But when you think about it, there's tons of space in that one and there's tons of space in this one. Where did you get that awesome sweater? It's not a sweater, it's a hoodie. And if you guys like our gear, you can go to teespring.com slash TFLTruck17 to get not only hoodies, but also shirts, mugs, and stickers. I think you'll be able to click here to get there. Oh yeah. This is the steepest part here, about 7% yeah. grade. So let's measure the sound as you're applying the throttle. You're applying the throttle right now, right? Wide open throttle. Okay, so let me measure the sound. 66.9. All right, we are almost there. All right, I'm gonna get my timer ready. You are keeping an eye on the MPGs? Yep. We're doing great. Eight minutes is our benchmark on the way up, and six MPGs is the benchmark we use. Um, so, 
I think we have no problem meeting the benchmark time. And uh, here come the lights, and I'm gonna stop it now. Okay, that's four miles per gallon. 4.1? Well, now just jump up to 4.1. Okay, I was, I was it was 4.1 just right there. Okay, so it dropped off a little bit. But yeah, 4.1. All right, now we need to talk about scoring. Scoring, subjective score. Subjective score. What are you gonna give it, out of 25? Out of 25 points, I'm so impressed with this truck. Not only does it have all the technologies to help you, cameras, it's also a very comfortable and quiet truck. Out of 25, I'm gonna give it 23. Mm. I'm gonna give it 22, just a little bit lower because I'm a little ticked off about some of the fit and finish, but everything else on this truck kicks ass. <coughs> what a well-made truck. Final score for the 2017 F-250 Power Stroke is 85.5. That's a pretty high score. <coughs> Yeah. I think that's the highest score that we've ever done with a heavy duty truck. Not the highest score overall, but for heavy duty, this is very impressive. It's done everything well, beyond expectations. The amount of power on reserve, I've never quite felt that before. I could have easily been breaking the speed limit the entire way up the hill. Thank you for not doing that. Yeah, I am all about law, that's me. For the fast lane truck, this is Andre. And Nathan. Go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and more Ike Gauntlet reviews. Yep.